Hello and welcome to a video and today's demonstration will be about Windows Live Messenger. This video will take about 10 to 20 minutes depending on how long it will take to explain. But um, if you have missed Windows Live Messenger on your PC then you can get it back with this. It's called Messenger Reviver 2. Um, because if you remember getting a message like this it says a new version has been downloaded and is available must install this new version in order to continue would you like to do this now it says yes or no and then that will take you to Skype because that's what took over Windows Live Messenger and then you won't be able to go onto it but if we scroll down, sorry, a bit too far. If you go down here, okay, click the start button, a few setups will come on, click on all of them, okay. Next thing to do, it'll tell you you can go for advanced settings as well. And this, and it will even tell you if you go on the website. It will tell you what versions are available and all that. We got two thousand nine, two thousand twelve, and even two thousand and thirteen works. And then there's a big list of all the versions and compatibilities of what computers can use it, like Windows XP and Vista and you know Mac and so on and so on so you agree to download it I've already done it so I shall just get rid of that I don't need that anymore and as you can see I'm already already there Just while I'm doing my password, I'm just going to talk to you. And then it will show you this. And there we go. Now you can either have it in this view, or you can have it in this view. And that's the other view. Me personally, I prefer to have it on this view. The reason m me saying that is because you can find all your contacts here. To the other one. Now, if we put back to the other one, you can't actually because this um, thing we've installed. Um, it also says if we go back to the web page. <laughs> It says up here, email and notification broken. Doesn't know when they're going to fix it, but should be soon. So for the time being, that is broken. But at least you have Windows Live Messenger working. And the best thing about this is you can actually go down here 
and you can add Facebook chat too. So while you're on your Hotmail to your messenger friends, you can also talk to your Facebook friends, which is an ideal thing to do. So that's what you want to do, really. And then what you do is you find somebody that you want to talk to. But if you go on this view, you can't see your Facebook friends. So if you want to see your Facebook friends, because I can't see them down here. Oh, that they are down here. You have to scroll down for them. Well, in that case, then, I'll just go for that view instead. Just easy to find them. And, um, yes, you can also change your picture up here. You can still say what's going on. Um, I don't know if you can check your inboxes, but I'll check. It's just looking now. It's just loading. And it even tells you when people have signed in on Facebook and Messenger. So that's really handy. Ah, here we go. It'll, it'll then take you to your Hotmail. So that bit does work. That's really good. Now, if you want to have this... Um, to put onto your computer and download yourself I'm going to put a link into the description box so you can download this for free now bearing in mind to order to get this you um, have to um, when your antivirus um, says the file um, not right go down to and accept it because the file itself is actually pretty good good it's naturally viruses because like, I checked with my other antivirus and it actually didn't um, have any viruses into it but AVG for some reason seems to think it did but it doesn't and it hasn't affected my computer ever since I've downloaded it so it's safe to use so if you get a firewall or anything like that saying you can't use it and it says yes block this don't Go down to the second option, say allow this exemption, and then the setup will come on and it will say next, and then you can install this amazing application that somebody's made, and they've put a lot of time into making this. They have, and it's, it's nice that somebody cares about Messenger before Facebook was invented. Because like, and here's some of the comments, you can check down for comments and all this as well, people saying how good it is. It's, it's just remarkable what someone can actually do and bring something back. It really is. Now, if they could do this with other things... What else do you reckon that should be brought back into social networking things that's been taken away or programs and stuff? Comment below. Tell me what you have heard or seen that's been removed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a nice like. If you have any queries, comment below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. If you have any worries about this program, I'm, I'm telling you now, it's absolutely safe. Otherwise, I wouldn't have installed it myself. I've had no problems whatsoever, and I'm just so grateful I'm back on Windows Live Messenger. Now, I did try to get the old version, the first very old crappy version, but I couldn't find it anywhere for Windows 7. You can only get it for XP, so a bit of a bummer there, really, but there we go. <laughs> Anyway, please make sure you subscribe and um, please favourite this video and share it onto Twitter, Facebook and your friends. I've been Fire Dude Cod Extreme Production. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.